Hawkins Jr. bullied his way into the paint. Hawkins Jr. Nice pass. Hawkins Jr. The Miami Heat's newest rookie is setting the league on fire. The Heat stole the draft and found another hidden gem. Jaime Hawkins Jr. plays like a seasoned vet, not a young rookie. Hawkins! Holy cow! Jaime's shattering expectations and stealing the show in Miami. Bursting onto the scene with a lethal all-around game, he's blowing up before our eyes. Jaime Jaquez is the latest overlooked and undervalued shimmering hidden gem to be unearthed by the Miami Heat, who picked him 18th overall. How do the Heat do it? How do they keep finding these guys? Jaquez is averaging 14 points, 2.7 assists, and 3.9 rebounds per game, while shooting 35.3% from three and 60% true shooting overall. Another incredible stat, among all players, not just rookies, Hawkes is fourth in the entire NBA in fourth quarter minutes per game played. With four years of high-level college play, Jaime is ready for the NBA. He's ready for this moment. He's been one of the most impressive rookies this season, blowing up everyone's expectations. Take a second and show some love and subscribe down below. The rookie has spent the last four years at UCLA, the majority of it battling for a national title. In his senior year, he won Pac-12 Player of the Year and put up almost 18 points a night. In his sophomore season, he shot almost 40% from three and almost 50% from the field. Jaquez was basically one of the best college players in the country. Jaime Jaquez Jr. from UCLA. So a smooth transition to the NBA is not really a shock, but this level is beyond anyone's expectations. He's proving that solid college experience and learning the fundamentals under a good coaching system can prepare you for the NBA. Another stellar pick for the Heat, he fits in perfect with Heat culture, making an instant impact. Hawkins did have a slow start in his first seven games with the Heat, averaging only 5.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 1.8 assists per game. But that was not because he was not a great player. He was still trying to find his rhythm. When he did find it, he caught fire grabbing everyone's attention. It was like something clicked in him. And now coaches high school basketball here. Oh, what a gorgeous steal by Hawkins Jr. And a two-hand throw. He started to play with more confidence and energy. He became an instant impact player, upping his production, scoring double digits every night. Miami is the perfect situation for Jaime to end up in under an incredible coach and organization. Hawkins showed his team that he is a star in the making, like the game where he went off for 31 points against the 76ers and grabbed his first double-double with 10 rebounds. That's amazing for a rookie. He's one of the most consistent scorers in his class. But how is he so good? And what makes him different from other rookies? He's just a stud, a phenomenal offensive player capable of punishing any team that makes the mistake of leaving him open for a three-pointer. He's also very good at timing cuts and finding openings in the defense. He plays with such maturity for a young guy. He has a real knack for finding the weakness in the defense, patiently waiting for the moment to attack. When Jaquez has the ball, he effortlessly makes contested shots over the defense thanks to his six-foot-six build. Jaquez's size is a real game-changer. He can post up, nail mid-range shots, and handle it off the dribble. His speed and quick thinking also allow him to score through a crowded defense. People are already comparing him with his teammate Jimmy Butler, but let's not forget that he's still a rookie and has a lot of room for growth. Hawkins showed an amazing combination of his strength and speed when he delivered one of his best performances this rookie season on Christmas Day. In that memorable game, he notched an impressive 31 points and secured 10 rebounds, boasting an astounding 73 shooting percentage. This marked the highest shooting percentage among rookies in the 2023 class. His stellar Christmas Day performance not only established him as one of the top rookies of the year, but also put him in special company alongside Patrick Ewing, Walt Bellamy, Oscar Robertson, and Wilt Chamberlain. That's some serious company. He's the fifth rookie ever to achieve a 30-point, 10-rebound game. To show you how good he is, let's look at his scoring in offense. This guy can do almost anything. He can score by himself using his skills and strength, make tough shots in traffic, play in the low post, and has some of the best footwork we've seen from a rookie. He has a high basketball IQ. For instance, he spots a defender in a tricky help position. Before the pass even arrives, he's on the move, making a smart cut with some speed. This simple move gives him the edge over his defender, and from there, his size and strength take care of the rest. Hawkes plays a ton off two feet, 
which means he can completely stop to pump fake defenders at the basket, similar to his teammate and role model Jimmy Butler, the jump stop master himself. You can really see Jimmy Butler's play style and influence in Hawkes, just a 22-year-old rookie playing like a 34-year-old veteran, specifically because of his polished footwork off two feet and jump stops as a way to manipulate defenders with his craft instead of vertical athleticism. Much like Butler, Jaime uses tempo and footwork to find openings, playing a mental game that relies on patience and timing to get good shots. Hawkins has worked a ton between college and the draft to improve his game, training with former NBA player Don McLean to bring his game to the next level. Take a look at this. You can see Hawkins in the post is doing it all. He can play with his back to the basket or facing up. He's bullying smaller players by backing them down with his strength and then smartly maneuvering around the bigger players. This skill set has made him super valuable, especially when main guys like Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo are out. During the opening minutes of the fourth quarter, Coach Spoolstra has been trusting him to run the offense while Jimmy Butler takes a breather. Before the latest draft, many scouts pointed out that Hawkes' game had a major gap, citing a lack of athleticism. But let me tell you, that doesn't seem to be the case, because this season, Hawkes is proving all those doubters wrong by showcasing some seriously impressive hops. Hawkes is really good at finding those in-between spots, where you can easily receive a pass and score an easy bucket. Nowadays, the focus of trainers isn't really on these middle areas of the game, but Hawkes has a good feel for the basics, which plays a huge role in shaping his game. Look at him off the ball. Hawkes sneaks up on defenders, waiting for the perfect moment when heads turn so he can make his move to the rim for an easy basket. He has not had many of those opportunities here tonight. 28 points in the paint for the Knicks as Hawkes Jr. got it off quickly, oh, beating. Here's another fantastic move by Hawkes. As Robinson goes for the rim, things get a bit crowded. Instead of just hanging around with not so great spacing, especially with Martin and Richardson nearby, Hawkes spots Dennis Smith Jr. ball watching. In the nick of time, he makes a cut and scores. Gotta give props to Duncan Robinson for that pass. He's been making plays like this all season. It's wild how this play unfolds in just a second. Once again, keep an eye on Conley, who's watching the ball, maybe expecting Hawkes to set a screen. But, surprise, Hawkes very smartly slips from behind Conley, and that's where Lowry finds him. You can't take your eyes away for a second when you're up against Hawkes because he will take full advantage of it. Watch him in the corners. He's totally at ease when faced with a defender closing in. He takes a moment, calmly dribbles, and skillfully maneuvers past his opponent, weaving into the paint with spins, pivots, and a slick dribble that gets him exactly to his spot. Handling contact is a breeze for him. He can sidestep it, create it, and still pull off the tough finish. Does it look like he's a rookie? At just 22, Hawkins is a rookie playing like a seasoned 30-year-old vet. People are buzzing about how his style mirrors Jimmy Butler's. Jimmy was asked about it in an interview, and he agreed with the comparisons. But interestingly, he mentioned Hawkins as picking up skills now that Jimmy himself didn't catch on to until he was pushing 28 or 29. Coach Eric Spoolstra also talked about the similarities between Hawkins and Butler. He mentioned how Hawkins is quick to process and read plays on the court. That's why he's getting solid minutes his first season, which is rare as a rookie. Also, Hawkins is holding his ground on defense. Mismatches often come his way, but he's not one to be pushed around easily. Pretty rare quality at his age. When the path to the hoop is blocked, he's got moves ready. Take a recent play, for example. Bobby Portis Jr. tried to cut off his drive, but Hawkins pulled out a slick behind-the-back dribble, smoothly transitioning into a step-back jumper. Check out that handle and footwork. Creating space, stopping on a dime, a wicked dribble, and perfectly balanced. The footwork is slick, and that step back is a thing of beauty. Just look at the space he opens up. I mean, seriously, it's a work of art. Come on now. You're right. Come on now. Come on now. Hawkins across the lane. Bad pedals and got it to go! He's got the basics to attack in different ways, whether you try to cut him off or close out. If you leave him some space, he's going to take it. And if you try to cut him off, he's got the footwork to get by you. While Chet Holmgren and Victor Wembenyama are racing for the Rookie of the Year title, Hakez is slowly creeping up behind them and emerging as the underdog nobody's really given attention to in this year's draft. He's holding the third spot in the rookie race in many rankings. But for Hakez, rookie is just a tag because, in reality, he's playing way beyond his years. There's a certain calmness about him. He can be aggressive when needed or step back and pick apart the defense with ease. It's not every day you see rookies making it on the watch list for opposing teams because rookies aren't usually considered to be a threat. 
but it's different with Hawkes. He's fearless, taking on his defender one-on-one. -on -one. Take a look at his pump fake. That's a seasoned NBA player falling for a rookie's mid-range fake. And we cannot miss out on this jaw-dropping ankle breaker. He's got this quirky style. He's moving at a slow pace, and he manages to stay in control. He skillfully navigates past his defender and takes the opportunity to sink a three-pointer. Jaquez is not afraid to take on the defenders. But what happens when he goes up against huge guys or aggressive defenders? Well, Jaquez is already showing early signs of adaptability when he hits a roadblock. He's quick to find an outlet pass while keeping an eye on creating space and hunting open opportunities. In a game against the Indiana Pacers, facing a double team in the post, he quickly scanned the court and spotted Orlando Robinson mismatched in the paint. Even when the defense collapses into the paint during his drives, he doesn't hesitate to whip the ball over to the weak corner. Take a look at this. He's got the smaller-ish Smith on him. Instead of rushing things, he takes his sweet time and spins away from the potential help defender. Now he's got all the time in the world to finish over the mismatch effortlessly. One clear similarity you'll see matching Jimmy Butler's game. He's always cool, composed, and plays at his own pace. He's got that toughness and high motor, a perfect fit for Heat culture. Jaime Jaquez Jr. has burst onto the scene for the Miami Heat, shattering expectations for a rookie. With his lethal all-around game, poise under pressure, high basketball IQ, and veteran-like skills, Jaquez is already one of the most impressive rookies this season. But how far can he go? While it's still early in his career, Jaquez has shown glimpses of superstar potential. If he continues on this trajectory, developing his game under top-notch coaching staff immersed in heat culture, Jaime Jaquez Jr. could very well end up being one of the biggest draft steals in recent memory. This exciting rookie is certainly one to keep an eye on as he breathes new life into Miami's future. What do you think about Jaquez? Is he the biggest steal of the draft? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more NBA breakdowns.